We have another reason to look forward to the weekend. National Ice Cream Day is Sunday. That's fitting. So let's talk to the flavor temptress, Tamara Keefe. She owns Clementine's Naughty and Nice Creamery. I just can't get over that name ever. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and thank you for having me. Well, what do you have on the, uh, on, on the menu? What do you have on the schedule? How are you celebrating? Yeah, well, for National Ice Cream Day on Sunday, we have big festivities as always. So the first 50 households at every single location will receive a commemorative really cool t-shirt designed by Carlos Zamora, who's a really well-known local artist. So that's going to be fun. And we're going to be doing fun giveaways all day at all of our locations. And we're also celebrating with some new flavors that we have just come out with. Um, one that you'll especially like, Kim. Mm -hmm. This is our, our vegan Mojo Cocoa. Oh, nice. So this, it's like a Mounds Bar, like tenfold. It's awesome. So it's our version of a vegan Mounds Bar. And then what we're really excited to talk about today, in addition to Sunday, National Ice Cream Day, is this new flavor that we have collaborated with and worked with the Missouri Partnership, so the state, in creating. So it's called Missouri Mud because we've collaborated with awesome candy makers from around the state of Missouri. So we're using Askinosi Chocolate, Candy Factory Peanut Butter Indulgence, Christopher Elbow out of Kansas City for their uh, salty caramel truffles. And so it has a bunch of like delicious stuff put in. And so we decided to call it Missouri Mud. So that's in all shops now. Um, and it's, it's super, super delicious. No, it absolutely so sounds like it. You know, I have to ask you, during the worst of the pandemic, you had fans line up outside to keep them safe, of course. You know, COVID can rob you of your sense of taste. We don't want that. Not at your store. But even before that, lines were out the door at your very first location. But it seems like you're constantly adding new ones. Yes. And in fact, we just opened um, our fifth location yesterday in town and country. And in usual fashion, we did open with a line at the door, which was super exciting. Um, but it's a beautiful location. It's a little different, more unique, a little more modern than some of our other locations. But like, definitely come out, check it out. It's super beautiful. It's just super fun. I'm so I'm so blessed. Thank you, St. Louis, that we're able to grow and survive and thrive in the pandemic. Well, thank you so everybody. much for lending us along for the ride. We really appreciate it. You know, the entire country is learning what we already knew. So tell us about that and tell us about the nationwide shipping. Yeah, so, you know, it actually like went even crazier last year during the pandemic, but we ship all over the country. Um, our, our online pints, they, we can ship them in four packs, six packs, 12 packs. Um, anywhere in the in the contiguous United States. Um, so it's it's pretty it's pretty exciting because those people who are stuck in faraway places who don't have access to our wonderful ice creams um, have been able to get that. Um, and it's really making a difference in people's lives, which is cool. That's I have the best job. I scoop up happiness every day. <laughs> And we only have time for one more question, just a few more seconds, but we got to ask, um, you really helped out a lot of organizations that were getting us through the pandemic last year. How did you find the energy to do all those giveaways? Uh, we're still exhausted. <laughs> yeah, we all are. <laughs> um, just do it. You, you, you decide that you're going to, you know, we were the only ice cream and frozen dessert place to stay open the entire year last year. And I think when we sat down with our team at the at the beginning of the pandemic, when occupancy and everything was shut down, we we gave them the option. We said, hey, we can't do this out without you guys. If you want to shut down, we will shut down and we will try to keep you on and pay you as long as we can. And the whole team unanimously said, nope, we love our jobs and the world needs ice cream now more than ever. And so we really just decided as a team that we were going to be there for our city um, and for all of our people and, and everyone everywhere. And so it's just been our commitment to you to, to be there, to make the donations, to show up every day, to deliver, you know, when we pivoted, we, we turned all of our shop managers into the delivery drivers. So we never had to lay anybody off. Um, and I had COVID early on last year in March actually. And so I was really sick and in bed mapping out Google maps for deliveries. So oh, wow. we just oh, kind of wow. took, we just decided that we were gonna commit to this and we were gonna be there for the city because you've always been there for us. 
Well, we really appreciate it. Everybody, we will have a link to Clementine's Naughty and Nice Creamery on fox2now.com. Tamara Keefe, Flavor Temptress, Clementine's Naughty and Nice Creamery. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for your help this past year.